What is up guys? Today I am doing another vegan Disney World video. I had made a video a couple, like a month or so ago, about how we save money on the Disney dining plan as a vegan, and I will leave that up there, wherever that card goes. Uh, and people in the comments were asking me to kind of do like a master list of everything that I ate as a vegan. So I went back, I kind of picked through all of my vlogs, my memories, to make a master list of everything that I've eaten vegan so far in Disney World. I follow a lot of like vegan Disney vlogs. Vegan Disney World, uh, they have a website and like an Instagram, Facebook, and a Twitter. They're really knowledgeable with stuff. Vegan at Disneyland is really awesome. So, uh, so basically everything or some of the stuff that I got here was based off of their recommendations or their experiences but other things that kind of just went in blind and like just to see what I'd get. and. Looking back on it, it makes me really miss Disney food and makes me really hungry, but let's get into it. So I'm going to start with resorts. I'm going to be looking up and down just to see my list. Um, but I'm going to start with resorts. At All Star Movies, I had at their... I literally can't speak today. At All Star Movies, I had vegan Mickey waffles and a vegan vegetable burger. Uh, so basically the veggie burgers are vegan like i'm pretty sure across the board now at counter services at resorts however sometimes they butter their buns so i would always tell the chef that you're vegan because they just do it with uh they just won't do that and they'll sometimes fry your fries in a separate fryer i really don't care about shared fryers but if you do then they will usually accommodate that and always like vegan mickey waffles taste because i was a, i was vegetarian in may so i had the regular mickey waffles they taste literally exactly the same uh, so there's really nothing to worry about there and with those Mickey waffles I got like a strawberry compote that were, that was really good and yeah at Pop Century they had Mickey waffles as well, veggie burger as well and then for treats that I've got, uh, rice milk bars, they had these rice chips that were really good, um, they had Air McKinnon cupcakes which were snack credits and they also had on my way back home I used a snack credit on a Chippendale trail mix which is vegan, just make sure it doesn't have chocolate chips in it. Some of them do, I think it's like a cranberry mix does. I think that has milk in it. So moving on, Coronado Springs, I actually didn't eat there when I went. I was only there for two days, as you guys know. Uh, but at Cafe Rick's, I did have mango sorbet. They had like two types of sorbet. I think it was like mango and raspberry. And then they have, you know, the basically the rice milk bars and crustables, those the trail mix, that's like standard across all counter services and they're connecting gift shops uh, at Porter Lane French Quarters vegan beignets with the raspberry sauce which is also vegan that was amazing those are always so solid and they taste exactly the same as the regular and apparently now they have like the uh, not the Beyond Meat Burger and more options there so I'm really excited for that at the Grand Floridian now moving into uh, some sit downs the Grand Floridian Cafe got Mickey waffles with some fruit which was you know it's always solid and nice to have an option uh, Polynesian, you know, Ohana. Ohana is probably my favorite sit-down meal. It is just an abundance for vegans. It's a tailored menu towards vegans. So you get uh, vegan-friendly bread and then salad and then noodles and veggies and a tofu dish and I think, oh, hummus with pita and ice cream. It is just, oh, it is so good. I would highly recommend spending the money to go to Ohana for dinner. Art of Animation has Make Your Own Pasta, which was nice and easy and really I didn't even have to speak to chef, it was just, I just picked all the veggies up from there, so that was really awesome. Uh, the Boardwalk, Charneria Al Forno, I didn't know it's technically not the resort, but it's on the Boardwalk. Uh, the bon, bon Voyage Breakfast, I would totally do again for the food if I had the same chef, would not do for the character interaction, personally did not like it. but. I had fruit, oatmeal, asparagus, Mickey waffles, a potato, vegetable medley, and it was so much food. Animal Kingdom Lodge, Kadani Village, Sanaa. Bread service, they had allergy friendly, vegan friendly bread, which is amazing, and the nine dips that come with it, eight out of the nine are vegan, so get that coriander chutney, it is so good. I literally dream about that so much. And then for my entree, it was like a pick two kind of deal, and it comes with rice, and then I got like a chickpea something, and a, and a cashew okra something. <laughs> I honestly forget the name, but it was so good, so delicious. 
highly recommend oh and tapioca pudding at the end amazing definitely check out Sana. for wilderness hoop de doo i uh, got the pasta dish and the bun with a uh, smart balance unlimited drinks and i got the uh, ice cream with the sh basic the strawberry that they put on top of the strawberry shortcake they just put on top of the ice cream with some uh, enjoy life cookies and then disney springs has i've had blaze pizza uh they it's make your own pizza so it's like 10 bucks and you literally get to choose any toppings they had vegan cheese and they they changed the gloves for you so i got vegan cheese and like literally like 10 vegetables on top and it's all for that ten dollars okay, moving on to magic kingdom what i've had so far plaza ice cream they have tofuti and rice cream ice cream and both times that i've had it i tried each one of the ice creams and i got a root beer float Main Street Confectionery, more snacks, cotton candy, the rice milk bars, the lollipops may be vegan, I'm not 100% sure, again I didn't have it, and then the Simba Animal Crackers, those are vegan, really good. Be our guest, breakfast, I've had, it's just waffles, not Mickey waffles, just like literally plain, they're like really bad. Uh, Air McKenna pastries, and then it comes with fruit on the side, with like very vanilla uh, soy milk, silk soy milk, so it's just sweet across the board. If you're not on the dining plan, don't waste your money. Um, and then for lunch there, they have the quinoa salad, which I'm honestly over, uh, french fries and raspberry or lemon sorbet. So I would go to be your guest just for the sorbet and just to be in the atmosphere, but I would really not go back there for lunch or breakfast. Really wanna try dinner, eventually. Columbia Harbor House, you can get the vegetarian chili without the oyster crackers the steamed broccoli and the french fries. I made that as a whole meal. Uh, it's so filling, so delicious, and relatively cheap. The uh, Pinocchio Village House has a caprese flatbread that is vegan. It's under the milk allergy, so it's made with a rice milk, rice milk crust, data cheese, the tomatoes, and the balsamic dressing. It is honestly, like, if I'm in Magic Kingdom, I'm gonna go there first. I thought it was so good. It didn't fill me up completely, but like, that's what popcorn or ice cream is for after the fact, right? Um, Petco's Bill, if you want a filling counter service, go there because you can get the vegetarian rice bowl with white rice, not the regular rice because I think that has milk in it or cheese in it. So vegetarian bowl, white rice, it's under an, a milk allergy. So it is on the allergy menu. And then you get to fill it up at the toppings bar. They have, besides the cheese and sour cream, they have like, guac, salsas, corn, jalapenos, lettuce, like a ton of stuff. So if you want a filling meal of Magic Kingdom, go there. And it's also super cheap. It's like 10 bucks or something. More snacks, Aloha Isle, Dole Whips, obviously Dole Whip floats are my personal favorite because I really like that drink to like, drink to ice cream ratio. And then all around, get Mickey pretzels without cheese and popcorn. Moving to Epcot. Sunshine Seasons, I've had the vegan chicken korma, which is really good. It's a nice portion of the vegan korma with uh, some basmati rice. Uh, Rosen Crown Pub, I had my fantastic meal of curried vegetables with rice and then a side of potatoes, which Chef Paul totally hooked me up. Uh, Joy of Tea in China has the mango green tea smoothie. Now they say smoothie, but it really is just a slushy, so don't be worried if it has dairy or not. I asked them, I confirmed it, it does not have dairy. Um, in Mexico, the La Catina de San Angel has chips and guac. Not that good, it was like eight bucks, and honestly, it just wasn't good guac. I thought the guac was better at Pecos Bill, which is saying something since that's a free topping. Tangerine Cafe in Morocco has a vegetarian platter. I will be honest, I did not ask if everything in the meal was vegan. Uh, there's been reports that they changed distributors so the peanut and mave had some milk in it. I'm not 100% sure so I can't really confirm. In America, I had the terrible <laughs> chicken breast platter with corn and guac. That was the saddest meal ever. Apparently it's been upgraded where you can make it like a chicken, it's the actual fake chicken breast and that you can make into a sandwich, but when I got it, it was three Cardine chicken tenders with a size of guac literally this big and a size of corn that was that big and some lettuce and it was the saddest thing I've ever eaten. And then for a specialty at the Flower and Garden Festival, they had crabless cakes which were vegan at Urban Eats. They were delicious. 
absolutely delicious but I don't know if they're gonna be around next year so I guess we'll see hopefully I'll be around for Flower and Garden moving to Hollywood Studios as I said Starbucks uh, Mickey pretzels and then at Starbucks I actually get like whole fruit sometimes not the best value it is like two dollars for a banana but if you're pressed for um, food especially if you want to have something light before Tower of Terror or Rock and Roller Coaster, I would highly recommend just getting a piece of fruit. And then the one sit down we did was Sci Fi Drive In, where I got the falafel burger without the tzatziki, and I got a vegan chocolate milkshake, which is, oh, it was so good. Oh, and I also got fries with the uh, burger. Just all around good American food. It was delicious. I would totally go back for that. Finally, wrapping up at Animal Kingdom, the Tusker House Buffet. They had a wide arrangement of veggies, uh, tofu, potatoes, they had all sorts of bread, they had pickles, rice, hummus, pita, all that kind of stuff. I didn't speak to a chef, but the, my waiter did give me an allergy book and when you opened it up they had all the different what you could and couldn't have and it was very easy to pick stuff out. Uh, that was really good and they had, there was a caravan by Everest that had hummus and pita that we got that was filling. And then, you know, the standard whole fruit Mickey Pretzel Starbucks. I really want to explore more dining options in Animal Kingdom like Satuli, Yakin Yeti. Same for Hollywood Studios. I want to try like 50s Prime Time and what was the other one? Hollywood Brown Derby, things like that. So, yeah, that's everything I've eaten at Disney so far that's vegan. I think it's a lot. It, it's very, it's, there's a wide variety to everything, which I absolutely love. So, I really can't wait to go back there. I really don't know when we're going back. I hope it's soon. I really just want to try more food. I'm, I dream of Sanaa and Ohana like basically every other night. Like I think they just like interchange in my mind. But that's it. If you guys have any other suggestions or questions regarding vegan eating in Disney World, please leave a comment down below. I'll be doing some more Disney videos, all that kind of jazz, maybe do a Halloween video. I don't know. We'll see how my schedule allows me. But that is all. I will see you guys next video. Bye.